Hey guys, it's Queen and I'm here with another Sims 3 store video. Um, I will warn you that I'm, I'm getting a bit of a sore throat. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to kind of fight it before it gets absolutely terrible, but I am getting a sore throat. So if I sound a bit funny, I apologize. I've been just drinking things and drinking things, trying to, you know, fight it, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so today, April 4th. The Sims 3 store released Country Living. Now, Country Living obviously is in a country-themed set. Um, so there's some country-styled clothing, decor, as well as a premium content item. The regular price for this set is 1,500 sim points, which is 15 US dollars. My throat just went crazy. So if you guys heard like a frog or something, that was my throat. It does that from time to time, but I refuse to re-record this part because this is like, seriously, when it comes to these videos, I probably record this part 50 times before I actually like it. So yeah, it was, I have a frog in my throat. Anyways, <laughs> um, so it's the regular price of this set is 15 US dollars. It is currently on sale for 1,250 sim points, which is $12.50 in US dollars. Now the sale ends April 18th of this year, of course, so that's two weeks from today. If you wanna get it for the sale price, you got two weeks, okay? Country Living comes with 25 items, technically. Is it technically because some of these items are duplicates because there's the clothing option for the young adults and adults with the same exact clothing option for the elders. <laughs> but uh, they're divided into two, and I think that's that's probably here. Let's see, one, uh, two, three, four times, I believe. So there's four, there's like eight items or like, there's four duplicates four duplicates okay so it's kind of 21 items if I did that math correctly I don't know um anyways <laughs> but you also get a premium content item and did I say some country themed um furniture and decor okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into create a sim really quick and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about the clothing so when it comes to the clothing in this set I have really really mixed feelings when it comes to the adult clothes, like, they look very simple and very boring and very boxy and, like, they don't fit well. It's just there are so many country-themed clothes on the set. Oh, I'm sorry, on the on the site, on the thesims3.com, um, in the store that I think you can get that would look 10 times better than any of these adult clothes in this set. Um, I don't know what it is, but they kind of suck, you know what I mean? Um, moving on to the children. <laughs> I love the chi the child like the the children and toddler clothes. I think, you know, the detail is nice, you know, like the sweater with the scarf. I think that's adorable. You know, the the um the destroyed um overalls and things like that that you see like I just, I think they're a lot more stylish and a lot more, um, you know, well-fitted for the children, uh, which is good, you know what I mean? I just really, really wish that the adult clothing, you know, had a little bit more effort put into it in terms of that because, you know, the children's clothes in this set compared to the adult clothes in this set, like, there's, there's just no comparison. Like, the adult clothes look like something that came out in 2009 with The Sims 3. Not saying that those clothes suck either, but I'm just saying you can really see that uh, this game has evolved since then. Unlike some of the clothing options that um, this set had to offer, uh, I think that they like seriously hit a home run when it came to the decor in this set. Um, this is just some of it, and I'm, we're going to go piece by piece here. Um, <laughs> it's just like... It's, you know, you guys know in my, my recent Let's Play, you know, or my current household, you know, I told you I really, really love the cabinets with stuff in them because it makes it look more realistic. This is filled to the top with stuff. Um, what is that? Jarred stuff? I don't know. It's like jar jarred people. 
they jar things like fruits and veggies and stuff. I don't know what they do to it. But they jar it in the country. I know that much. And that's what it looks like. I love this so, 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 so much. If you do not know, like, I love the, I love country themed things, you know? I really, really do. I'm a, I, I love traditional homes, country themed homes. I just, yes, a lot more than I do modern. Um, so this here is like, heaven for me. Um, it also comes with this really, really cute, cute, cuted, cuted, this really, really cute, uh, decorated painted milk jug. Um, you get a brown one with, when you, when you purchase pets, I believe. And, um, it's cute too, but this one is painted. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> um, here's some, uh, wall, like wall shelf or whatever. Again, you know, it has stuff in it. It's not just the shelf sitting there. And it's filled. I, I love it so much. Um, this The table and the chairs are just adorable. Again, really, really following the theme to a T. Um, especially this table. It's gorgeous. It's floral. I don't know. And here's uh, the, what the chair looks like away from the table. I got to show you that. Cute little pillow in the back. It's, it's, it's just so cute. Um, this is another item right here. Again, it's like... It's, um, it's like, uh, it's filled. And, uh, I just, I re again, I really, really love these furniture options and decor items in this set. I really do. Um, and then all of the little details that were put into it, you know, the cute little chickens and whatnot. Um, and here is the sink that you get with it as well. You see how it's like all rusted, um, up here where the metal is and it's just like, it looks a little worn out. It's it's really, 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 really cute. Um, yes, really, really cute. I, I'm telling you guys, like, I love this. And then over here, um, you have uh, these, it's just like a, you know, a wall sculpture. Um, plants in a pot, something like that, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, you know. Um, and last but certainly not least, uh, there is a picnic table with a little design on top here and of course it doesn't look like your typical picnic table but it is a picnic table oh almost forgot <laughs> these um lights as well see it's hard to show lights because i can't oh maybe i can do this let's see if i can do this i can do it yeah those lights right there are what you get the ones that are hanging um i guess they're supposed to be like jars or something turned into lights i'm not sure um, but yeah, so those are the furniture options you get. Again, I really, really, really love the furniture options. They're adorable, and they do all work nicely together. You know, they all have that little floral pattern and theme. Um, you could easily take this set, mix it with some items from the base game, and make an amazing uh, country-styled kitchen or dining area, whatever you want. I just seriously love the furniture options. Okay, so now that I've shown you some furniture, the furniture and the clothing, it's time to go into the premium content here. Now, the premium content that comes with um, this set, if I can find it on my lot, are these cute little chicken coops. <laughs> They're so adorable. So, so adorable. They're called the Fowl and Feathers Chicken Coop, okay? Um, it seriously, it's like, it's what pets was missing. I, you know, I, 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 again, I just, I'm sorry. I, I'm like really excited because I love, I love gardening. I've, I've always wanted to be a farmer in The Sims 3. Um, and this makes that, like, this is one more step closer to doing that. The only thing we're missing is some cows <laughs> with um, maybe, you know, we can even have some like have some drink milk or, you know, new recipes that require milk, um, kind of like the wood fire oven that requires, you know, eggplants and lemons and things like that. Where are the cows? I would that would enough about that. Anyways, the chicken coop here. <laughs> this is your new premium content item. It will be sold individually much, much later on, but unlike the other premium content items, this one is going to be 600 some points. I'm not sure what the price bump is for, um, but um, 
it's going to be 600 sim points individually. Um, it's cute. It's really, really cute. I love it. Uh, let's go ahead and check out some of the interactions here. So I've only, I've only played around with it a little bit. So there are play with chicks, harvest eggs. You can pretty much ask the chickens a question. These questions are random, like this one here. Ask if chickens can do the foxtrot. This one is, ask if a chicken squawking, squawking alone in the forest makes any sound. Um, let's see here. Ask if it is better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. There's one that was like, ask um, what chickens what soup chickens eat when they're sick or something like that. They're really, really funny um, and they're random. I have not seen a single one twice yet, so I don't know how many there are. Um, but now when you first get your chicken coop, um, play with chicks. Let's see if this one is it. Yeah, play with chicks is going to be blanked out because there, are, there aren't any chickens in this coop. Any chicks in this coop, in this chicken coop. Shit, learn how to talk, queen. Okay, so what you do to get chicks is you wait for your eggs until they're ready to harvest. Like it says, eggs will be ready in six hours. You can go ahead and once they're ready, you can click harvest. If you do not harvest your eggs for almost a day and a half, like a whole entire day, plus I think maybe like eight or 10 hours or something like that, you'll get baby chicks for not harvesting the eggs. So if you're wondering where are my fucking chicks, that's why. You just gotta wait a little while. And you gotta also wait for the eggs to be ready to harvest as well. So, um, feed the chicks and argue with Charles the evil chicken. I have not done anything yet but feed the chicks and harvest a few eggs. Um, just so I can have some things, you know, just check it out a little bit. Um, let's see here. And I had to figure out, like, what's wrong with the chicks. Like, I had no idea, you know. Um, anyways, so we're gonna have... This chick here, let's have her play with the chickens. I'm gonna turn all that jazz on. And let's have her play with the chickens, the chicks. I've never done any of this stuff, so bear with me if I like don't know where to move the camera at all. There, she's picking them up. Now, um, children, teen, teens, young adults, adults and elders can all do this. <laughs> They're so cute. Now, once you harvest the eggs, they will end up in your inventory. And uh, the quality, to me, it's been random. Um, I bet the more you feed your chick your chickens, the better the quality eggs. Uh, she can feed the chickens. Let's have her feed some chickens. It's $5 every single time you feed the chickens. They're not eating. Oh, they are eating it. You see it's just like depleting. I didn't notice that. Um, let's see here. Let's uh, turn that off there. Let's have her argue with Charles the evil chicken. I've never seen this. I'm assuming he comes from here. Wait, wait, where's Charles? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my, poor Charles. <laughs> Oh, I think she lost that battle. Um, and there is, let's see here. Oh, we can fight with Charles. Oh my, okay. Let's fight. How do you fight with a chicken? That's just low. That is so low. And she's getting like really mad. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's like really fighting with the chicken. Oh, she won. Charles lost. That, that would suck if you got your ass kicked by a chicken. Yeah, and the little chickens, they come out from time to time and peck around a little bit. I, again, I really, really ask how many chickens, how many roads must a chicken walk down? I really, really, oh, she's asking Charles, right? Well, that's not Charles. It's like his, his nicer sister or something, or whatever, brother. Anyways, I love, seriously, I love these, um... I love these uh, these little chicken coops. I think they're adorable, and they're going to really, really make my game like um, ten times better. 
um, really, really make my game 10 times better. If you have pets, I think this would be a great addition if you want to just like create your own farm and do whatever. It's seriously, it, it's, it's a really nice set. Overall, well, it's a really nice chicken coop. <laughs> Overall, I think this set is okay. Um, the pricing for, oh, she's sick. I don't know why she's nauseous, but whatever. The pricing for the set is, um, it's actually pretty decent. I, I don't mind paying $15 for a country themed set that I will use in the future a lot. And it comes with a premium content item. Um, again, really, really nice price. You get $2.50 off if you buy it within the next two weeks. And, um, yeah, I hope this was helpful to you guys. And I hope, you know, I kind of, uh, helped you figure out if you like it or not. And if you're going to purchase it, I do recommend it, especially if you have pets. Even if you don't have pets and you don't have any expansion packs or stuff packs, I still recommend it because, it brings, you know, more of that country vibe to any game. And you don't even, you can seriously live in Bridgeport and have chicken coops. You know what I mean? Chickens are chickens. You get eggs. You don't, like, one thing I, one thing I really, really, um, you know, I kind of, like, I love the fact that, you know, like, you can really, really, Oh, I think you can cook the chickens, too, if they die or something. I don't know. Maybe I read wrong. I'm not sure. Anyways, but you can um, really, 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 like, just live, like, you don't have to go to the grocery store for anything, you know? You got your eggs. You got your vegetables and your fruits and that you can plant in your own garden. You just got to go to pick up meat. You know what I mean? That's why they should bring cows. Because if the cows die, we can make burgers and steak and all that jazz. Seriously, bring meat into the game. You can go fishing and get your fish. Like, it's, I don't know. It's like the true definition of, like, living off the land or living, you know, on a farm or whatever. Again, I recommend this this set. I really do. I love you guys. That's all. That's my opinion. I don't know how to end these things anymore. <laughs> you all have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day. I hope this was helpful to you. I'm going to go rest my throat now. Again, love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.